Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Break Talos Principle 2, the only series where, in much the same way Rick Astley is no stranger to love, 1K is no stranger to breaking international puzzle law. So I said in the last episode, once we got inside this pyramid and took a look around, we'd probably be able to figure out how to break things. Unfortunately, that is not the case. They just did too good of a job sealing everything off, so this is going to be a very short and very boring episode. Of course I'm kidding. We got in there, we abused the hell out of this poor pyramid. Um, all three puzzles are com just completely broken, um, so we will not have to be smart, and we will not have to solve any puzzles today. Yeah, 1K's been breaking puzzles since before he was born, uh, quite literally, in fact, so it should come as no surprise. So I'll meet you guys in the main puzzle chamber after a very brisk walk. Alright, so here we are in the main puzzle chamber here. Um, try as I might to figure out stuff to break in the previous areas leading up to this, I just couldn't find anything interesting. So I just decided to focus right on the puzzles. So uh, first thing we're going to do, we're actually going to go up to the red puzzle up there. So I will meet you guys over there. Alright, and now that we're in this puzzle, first thing we're going to do is we're just going to bring this box right over to the end. And then we're going to come up here, and there's a connector behind a purple screen, but that is no problem. Um, we've got a solution for that too. So we're just going to take this, and we're going to jump right over here, just like this. And then the coolest thing about this area, I just found this completely by chance when I was trying to break this puzzle. If you put it right there and go over to the other side, there's a hole in the collision mesh and you can just grab stuff right through it just like that. So we're just going to take this and bring it over with our box. And then we're going to do the same thing on the other direction with this inverter. Put it right there. That's a little fiddly, but that's not too bad. Just gotta find the right angle. And then once we've got both inverters here, we can just open that blue laser, or uh, open that blue gate with the blue laser. And there we go, look at that. Super simple. And then I believe we need, yes, we need a blue laser here. So we're just gonna put it right on this corner, just like that. And then this box, first let's uh, activate this. There we go. Good job, 1K. And then we are just going to leave this box right over here by this for later use. And then we're going to run all the way down to the blue puzzle next. Ooh, almost fell off the edge there. That wouldn't have been good. Yeah, um, a common problem with doing things this way is if you die or have to reset a puzzle, it removes everything outside the puzzles that you set up, which uh, for some areas is quite an intensive uh, setup process, so sometimes it can really turn out bad for you. So we're just going to that one right there. Okay, and then once we're in here, we're just going to combine this red with the blue that we set up earlier. And we're going to use that to open that final green gate right there. Ooh, why is it not connecting? Did I connect to the right thing? No, I didn't. I need to connect to the laser up there. There we go. That's better. And then we just connect this connector to free that connector. And 
And there we go. And now we can take this. And actually, before we leave, we need to go back here and set something else up for later. We're just going to need to take this, connect it to the red, and just put it as far back in the corner as we can get it, just like that. And since we didn't need to use this connector to free up the uh, last gate here, we can just take it through. While we're here, let's just activate this blue gun. Where's the lever? Over here? Yeah. Well done. Alright, so let's go take this and meet up with the box up there by red again. So yeah, as I was saying, anytime you die, uh, or anytime you have to reload a puzzle, it completely resets any items that you had uh, lying around. Ooh, why did that fall there? Uh, so that can be quite detrimental sometimes when you're doing weird setups like this. Uh, especially in North 1, you'll see there uh, quite crazy setups that we have to do that can... Ooh, why don't we keep falling? Uh, that, you know, just one little messed up you fall off a ledge or you fall into the wrong part of a puzzle and you have to restart and it can be quite annoying and there are actually some setups where you have to restart a puzzle after you've cheesed it so that you can like use the items uh, and get them out and do another puzzle so you really have to plan around having to restart after that and you have to make sure that nothing has been set up beforehand Uh, I forgot. If you don't actually go over the end, it resets the tetrominoes. There we go. Alright, so we're just going to take these items here. Yeah, um, routing out this area was a really fun challenge, just trying to figure out how to break all three puzzles. This one was probably the hardest to solve, even though it's probably the simplest Actually, I would say it's one of the simplest puzzles in the entire game. Literally, all you have to do is just um, drill a hole and then grab a connector and connect it to three things and then put it back through the hole. And it's literally solved that fast. But we are going to solve it without even having to use the driller. So this looks a little hairy, but it's actually quite a safe uh, ledge to stand on, as long as you just push against the wall the whole time. And then if you uh, fail this jump, you just fall down there, which is fine. Not that I've ever failed that one. So anyway, um, to finish this up, all we have to do is take this, connect it to that red laser over there that we set up, and we do not want to drop this. I don't know if that would survive or not, but it would be really bad. So we'll just take that, and we'll just drop down here so that we can come up here and grab the other connector. And now that it's not necessary to uh, keep this puzzle going, or uh, for use down there anymore, we can just take it and drop down. And just like before, we're just going to scoot around the corner, jump over the ledge. And then we'll just connect it here and there. And just like that, that one's solved. Now, of course, I'm not just going to jump down there. That would be much too easy. We have to do this uh, legitimately, of course. See? See? Just like this. We didn't skip the puzzle. The puzzle just happened to be already solved when we got to it. All that's left is to activate the final laser. And look at that. First megastructure visit done. And we didn't even have to solve a single puzzle here.
All right, so while we're flying back to the base camp, uh, let's get our outro stuff out of the way. So first of all, I decided to not keep doing the social media post replies and all that on camera. It's It just doesn't really fit with the rest of the content of the video, and I think it just kind of slows it down. So if you've been following along and you're doing the same thing I am, um, trying to get all the achievements, I will be linking the guide in the description so you can follow it there. I'll also be posting the Easter egg guide there if you want to follow that as well. Speaking of Easter eggs, there are just none in any of the mega structures, so we didn't have any today. There aren't really any in the base camp either, surprisingly, uh, with the exception of one. There is one there. I don't know if we'll see it next episode. I'm not sure what I want to do with that yet. So next episode, we will be visiting North One, the desolate island, and I gotta say, I am really looking forward to this one, you guys. I've put so much time and effort into it. It is uh, ridiculous. It was really hard to break some of these puzzles, but I think I've come up with some really cool solutions. Um, I've put like 8 to 10 hours into this one area alone, which is like the entirety of what I've done in the first quarter of the game up till now combined. It's crazy. So I think that's where we're going to leave off for this episode. As always, if you have anything to say, any feedback, anything like that, leave a comment. Um, I greatly appreciate it. So yeah, until next episode, peace. And number three, and then we're just gonna jump on top. And this looks utterly ridiculous as we carry our giant stack around. We do need that connector though, for which we need the box. Um, this could be an issue.